This is Papa Rock with another episode of Forget About It. Uh, tonight we're going to go ahead and see what two FOG members, Fahim and Larson, can do against one another. Larson is going to be playing the British faction, and Fahim, it looks like, is playing Vermont. So let's go ahead and get started and see what happens here. Larson being the good sport. Fahim reciprocating. Double Pio start. Looks like they're going opposite sides of the map. Ready to roll. And it looks like uh, second, uh, first infantry squad is uh, moving up toward the, up the left flank, and the second infantry squad has come out. And Larson is going to move his truck already without capturing any points. Looks like he may be going for this plus five fuel up here, and he's going to park up there. Ready to copy Very aggressive start. He must know that uh, Fahim's not building a Vermont quarters early on. <laughs> Fahim is building with his uh, fourth Pio, and his first Pio is over here to the left by the plus ten fuel, or wiring it off. <laughs> Evidently, uh, Fahim knows how Larson plays. <laughs> so, so <laughs> Very bold maneuver here. <laughs> HQ command truck just is, is just waiting for the point to be captured so he can go ahead and park. <laughs> and uh, um, I think uh, Fahim's going to probably be in a little trouble here. Sniper coming out. Meantime, Pios are capturing all over the map. Fahim, I mean, Larson captures the point and uh, goes ahead and parks his truck on the plus 10 fuel outside of Fahim's headquarters. And uh, Sniper is brought out. Fahim's trying to draw him into the machine guns. Sniper is taken out by the recon squad. Motorcycle coming out and harassing the recon squad who's in green cover right now. Larson has exploited a very good vulnerability in this map that I have never known about. Um, I'm going to have to try this. Fahim, uh, meanwhile, has got uh, pretty much about 40% map control, maybe 50. But Larson is denying him <laughs> resources that he desperately needs. And a mortar pit is going up right outside the base. Bren Carrier having a duel with... Uh, motorcycle here and another motorcycle has come out and taken out the mortar squad or the mortar pit or better yet it looks like Larson canceled the mortar pit
mortar pit uh, attempting to be uh, rebuilt again. <laughs> this is a good counter by, uh, by Fahim. He needs to get some rifle grenades. Pardon my zooming in and out here. My mouse appears to be uh, auto zooming and I'm not sure why. trench attempting to be built and being destroyed by the motorcycles. Kriegs Barracks has gone up and a mortar squad is being built. Larson is uh, really not captured too many, much territory. He's uh, mainly harassed at the uh, base right here. Larson has zero munitions pouring in right now. He desperately needs some. Looks like supply trucks uh, in the process of being made. And Mortar Squad makes its appearance. <laughs> I'm doing a fantastic job of countering this surprising move by Larson. Sorry for the little malfunction going to the tactical map there. And Mortar Squad is doing its very best to completely aggravate Larson. It appears to be working. Larson is being forced to keep his squads back so he doesn't lose any and letting his uh, HQ take the brunt of uh, the damage here. Bryn Carrier is down to a quarter health, maybe 20%. And supply field support, support truck is uh, actually parking inside of uh, Larson's base. Surprised he didn't bring it forward. And Larson's going to have to do something quickly, otherwise he's going to lose his HQ here, and it'll cost him 400 more manpower to get a new one. Fahim with his Pack 38 uh, tearing a new one into this truck. Mortar squad is <laughs> is devastating this uh, recon squad here, or this infantry squad. One motorcycle gone. Let's see if two go. Lieutenant under heavy fire, and everybody is in full retreat. It appears that uh, Larson's little ploy did not work. Fahim has pushed him back, and uh, he will commence with recapturing all the territory outside his base. Very bold move. I just don't think it was fast enough. Looks like a Stewart tank is about to come out. Fahim recapturing and uh, up to about 60% of the map right now, almost 70. 
And Field Support Truck is, um, or no, the uh, new headquarters is uh, parking on the plus 16 munitions, where I think it should probably have parked to begin with. Fahim moving forward with his mortar squad and his pack 38, and uh, it appears that he's got a storm armory going up. Grenadier squad with some pansies. Stewart pursuing the motorcycle, and the motorcycle may actually get away until it slows down and the steward gets a little shot at it. No, no way. Bryn Carrier in fast pursuit as well. Carrying the captain so he can capture points. You gotta love the Brit. And second HQ is in trouble. Pansy squad in, in uh, full retreat. But they did about half damage to this uh, mobile HQ. Stewart taking hits from the Pack 38. Trying to come around behind it. Breaks through the fence. And successful. Stewart down to 10% health and takes out the pack 38. Mortar squad attempting to take out Stewart and almost doing so. And now the mortar squad's in trouble. Mortar squad in full retreat and survives. Fahim has some piles up here laying mines. And it looks like the uh, Pansy Squad is going to take out a Stewart. Oh, and they miss! Oh, music to my ears. We have a Nebel Woofers! Good placement, but no kills. Pansy squad moving up, along with a flame, flaming pioneer squad. Pansy squad attempting to get a shot in on this. Stewart fails. Good cover by the recon squad. Why is he moving that uh, wounded uh, Stewart forward? And why is he capturing with those sappers rather than repairing? Recon squad in full retreat, and the Neville Wolf for one stray shot takes out one of the two survivors of the recon squad. Looks like we got Veteran C already purchased for support squads. And Larson better move that Stewart back. Bye bye, Stuart. Fantastic micro by Larson. 
and that 10% Stuart is down, is lives to fight another day. That's it. Get away. Pansy Squad is in uh, full pursuit. And the steward is going to get into some cover over here, and the Sapper Squad will probably repair it. Armor Command Truck. Friend squad being uh, upgraded as we speak. No doctrine chosen as of yet by Larson. Fahim has not chosen one yet. He has uh, two Nebel Wolfer squads. Looks like his Pansy squad is in full retreat. And he has still refused. To repair that steward. Larson's getting on my bad side now. It's got me chewing my nails, wondering what's going to happen with that steward. Good number one replacement, but no kills again. Well, at least we know Fahim's not map hacking. And watch this steward get taken out by Neville Wolfer. This would be funny. Oh, going after this Bryn squad. And the Pio squad is uh, flaming them too. And surprisingly, uh, four members of the squad are still alive after that. Stug out, or stug, however you want to play, uh, pronounce it. I'm not really picky about it. I got nicknames for most uh, of these units anyway. Double flame pyo squads, flaming pyo squads go after a recon squad, and it appears one is going to lose, and the other is going to win. And it looks like the Pyo squads win. Finally, Mr. Stewart is being uh, repaired. Brain Carrier with the Captain is in trouble, and the Captain is in full retreat while the Brain Carrier sacrifices itself to the Pansy Squad. And the Captain dies on a uh, mine, it looks like. <laughs> Oh, I had to focus on that just for that body flight. <laughs> what are your orders? Now, the Fahim or Larson has chosen a doctrine as of yet, and we are 19 minutes and 5 seconds into the game. VP count is 321 for Larson, 373 for Fahim, and the countdown is uh, working in, it's going to be working in Fahim's favor here in just a second. And it looks like we have a doctrine of Royal Engineers chosen. No, I, I'm sorry, I take that back. No doctrine chosen as of yet, but we have a Cromwell 
two Cromwells taken uh, are out out and about now. Noble Wolfers getting attacked. They are vet two now, and Bren Squad takes them out. Looks like Mr. Stewart finally met his end, and I missed it. I'm sorry, folks. Commandos chosen. Going down the right side of the tree for the artillery. Fahim doing a good job of recognizing the smoke and moving his Pack 38 out of the way. And uh, these sapper squads are getting roasted. Pansy squads moving up. Cromwell's doing an excellent job of taking out the Stugs. Decoy smoke. And Fahim does not fall for it. Looks like Cromwells are in a uh, retreat from the Stug and the Pansy squads. Stugs now have a veterancy of one. Another Cromwell coming out. Third sapper squad being built right now, a casualty clearing station. And Neville Wolfers coming down on the, uh, the new location of the headquarters with the uh, casualty clearing station, and they fall short. Munitions Depot is being overrun. Larson with a very good understanding of how to use the Brits. He is not coming out with his uh, commandos yet, which would uh, greatly benefit him right now, but he is using, uh, utilizing the time to uh, maintain map, uh, the map points that he does have and getting armor uh, in play. Flaming squad taken out by these two Cromwells. It looks like double Cromwells on this Stug is going to take this Stug out. And I was right. Pack 38 taking a rear shot at that uh, Cromwell. And Nubble Wolfers are off again. <laughs> Pack 38 goes bye-bye. And British squads are pursuing the Nebel Wolfer. Propaganda on just the right squads. <laughs> so we have a doctrine. Terror versus Commandos. Cromwell back uh, toward the HQ to await repairs. And another Cromwell with a damaged engine that's probably going to be killed if it doesn't get back to base quickly enough.
I guess Fahim is uh, wanting to strike fear into the heart of Larson. I don't think it's going to work. Larson's done a very good job with the Brits considering he had to back off that plus 10 fuel. Two eighty six to three fifty one. Uh, countdown is in favor of Larson right now. And it looks like this Cromwell with the damaged engine is going to live to fight another day. Two-man Volksgrenadier squad is uh, capturing victory points and munitions. Only one lieutenant on the field, but it is Vet 1. Triple Sapper squads. Upgraded with Piets. This is going to be devastating. Yeah, keep that lieutenant with him. We need to bring the Bren gun out. Moving in on this uh, Vet 2 Stug. That's why I needed the Bryn squad up here. Noble Wolfer is coming down, devastating the sappers. Oh, and they get away. Double Cromwell's going after this backing up Stug. And a Cromwell from the south is coming along and hits, takes a rear shot on the Stug and wipes it out. And they take out the Noble Wolfer too. Good job. Another Pack 38 moving up, and these Cromwells better get out of the way. Stug coming in to block. Four Cromwells. That's a lot of microing. Pack 38 taking too much time moving up. And another Stug is out of control. Pansy squad moving up, and uh, Fahim is pretty much boxed into his base, even though he holds two uh, of the uh, VPs. But not for long. All well, the Cromwell's returning to uh, get repairs. He's dropping that Neville Wolfer. He needs to get in tight over here and drop a, a V1 rocket. <laughs> Recon squad in full retreat. Two packs out and watching uh, both approaches. Knowing that uh, Larson has these Cromwells is not going to uh, make things easier for Fahim. But at least he's covering all his bases. Five Cromwells. Wouldn't it be nice to have at least one Sherman? Larson has reached pop cap, so he can't bring in his uh, 
commandos, but that will change shortly. All the Cromwells are moving in now. Larson needs to make another lieutenant. He's flo floating enough manpower for it. Manpower is at almost 1,000. And this stug is in trouble. Looks like Larson is doing a full-fledged uh, tank assault onto his onto Fahim's base, and the Pack 38 is doing very little to stop it. Both packs are firing at the Cromwells, and it looks like it's just a drive-by. Oh, one Cromwell does not make it, but the other four do. And I have to say that that was worth it because, uh, it looks like Larson took out the Stug <laughs> and a few other things besides. And now we have a scout car going to be made. Or the Stag. More people are using that than the uh, command tank. Command tank just uh, doesn't seem to have its uses in uh, 1v1s. Recon squad in trouble. Staghound is mid made, so that means he's probably going to be making a uh, Sherman here soon. He can call in a glider, and he probably should. Looks like Fahim's making another Nebelwoofer. Looks like decoy smoke dropped. Is it just me or is that Nibble Wolf are moving very fast? <laughs> I guess because it's the road. <laughs> you gotta remember that. We're losing a munition sector. Uh, he's getting himself into position to fire upon the base over here. Maybe not. And Fahim recapturing this plus 10 munitions. And, uh, Orson has the pop cap and the manpower, but he has not called in any commandos yet. Which, those would totally decimate this pansy squad. And it calls them in. Oh, propaganda war used on them. Not even sure where it fired at. Sherman out. Pack 38 has moved up and is taking a shot at the Staghound. Yes. 
Larson does not notice, and the Staghound's main gun is destroyed, and Larson uh, moves it out of the way. Looks like decoy smoke and real smoke. Or and real artillery. And Fahim does a good job of moving the uh, Pac-38 out of the way. King Tigger is out. Pack 38 is under assault. And brings the Cromwell down to about 50%. Uh, the King uh, Tigger is uh, taking pock shots at it now. And main gun is destroyed on that Cromwell. Let's see if we can get one more shot on him. And missed. Ah, King Tigger runs over a mine and has a damaged en engine now. This has been a very, very good game. That King Tigger has got way too much health right now, but it's still creeping forward to get its shots in. Propaganda war used on the sappers. Good job. And it looks like, oh, this is going to be good. Pack 38 is taking pock shots as well. Staghound behind the Pack 38 and behind the King Tigger. King Tigger down to about 50 uh, health. And it looks like a decoy uh, smoke was dropped. Three Cromwells uh, getting, or two now, getting out around behind the King Tigger. Sherman Firefly is taking pock shots at the front uh, armor and keeping it uh, on the move. And it looks like the Pack 38 from across the water is trying to take out this Cromwell. Oh, King Tigger is going to demolish at Cromwell. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know how that Sherman got taken out. Maybe it was a shot from this Pack 38. <laughs> that was just bad luck. Artillery called down on this King Tiger. And the King Tiger lives. It's down to the 5%. <laughs> Another Firefly coming forward. Tigger is under repair. And all squads are in pursuit. Larson keeping them separated. Propaganda war used on the right flank. Tigger has taken, been taken out. And the Firefly is making a reverse retreat. Oh, this devastation. That poor house. Pack 38 remanned. Pansy squad taking rear shots at the Firefly. Boom! Out of control. Beautiful. A 
commando squads uh, flanking the pansy squads and taking them out. Pansy in full retreat and it lives to fight another day. And the commandos just running circles around the rubble. Looks like Larson is doing his best to keep them alive. Good nade. Good timing on that. Bringing that stack out forward. <laughs> Cap, cap, and recap. Another stug coming out. We won't see any more King Tiggers. Decoy smoke dropped. And Fahim knows it. At some point, the supply uh, support truck uh, got taken out. I don't know why or how. Jerry has 300 points in sector under attack. Looks like by this uh, flaming Pio squad, who is now taking out the uh, armor command. Pack 38 manned by the uh, Brits and is taking shots at the Stug. And the Stug is doing his very best to try to back out of the way. Propaganda war dropped. And Stag takes out, takes out the uh, tank. This has actually been a very, very good game. 158 VP to 266. Countdown in favor of uh, Larson right now. Another stug is complete. Looks like he's uh, utilizing the TNT there. <laughs> I 
And uh, it looks like Fahim knows exactly what it is he's doing. MG emplacement. First emplacement of the game. Besides the uh, mortar pits that failed over here earlier. <laughs> Neville Wolford completely taken out of the picture. And Stug is still getting harassed by this pack 38. Larson really needs an officer over here. Plus five fuel has been decapped, and it looks like two squads of commandos. It's going to chase away this Volks. Smoke popped. They've lost sight of them. There we go. One squad in retreat. <laughs> and Fahim doing his best to run him over. Noble Wolfer dropped in the middle. And it doesn't look like anything permanent occurred. Another commando squad moving up. Decapping this strap point. And it looks like uh, Larson is going for holding the uh, victory points at all costs and letting the countdown occur. Losing that King Tiger didn't help. But there was not much he could do. We're losing a munition sector. Enemy units. Stug attacking the base. Firefly has been completed and is coming out. Uh, he's not going to get him off this point so easily. And this commando squad being roasted on the right. Goodbye. And the pilot squad is in full retreat. Firefly versus Stug. Firefly will win. And it looks like Fahim has lost this game. Countdown ticker to 13. Fahim not a good, in agreement with a good game, but... Countdown ticker 158 to 1. And I think this was a fantastic game by both parties. Uh, very surprising moves by Larson. 
and Fahim adapted very well to that but it just didn't play out in the end to Fahim's favor so uh, this is Papa Rock signing off we'll see you on the next one